Hello. Tonight I'd like to do something different. Uh, I've done a lot of different things as far as aquariums, aquatics. Uh, I've also dabbled in some product reviews. Tonight I'm actually going to do a service review uh, just for people who are looking for the kind of lower cost phone services that are out there. Um, one that you'll see come up a lot of the time is a company called Freedom Pop. Now, Freedom Pop is a service uh, that is attractive to a lot of people because it's uh, it has a free or low-cost service uh, that offers people who don't use their phones a lot a cheap alternative. Usually it's a couple hundred minutes, a few hundred texts, few hundred megs of data and uh, you know it's just a, a plan that is out there for people like that who uh, don't really have the need to have be glued to their phones all the time or maybe have as a backup or something like that so a lot of people will look into it and uh, wonder whether or not you know it's really true is it well uh, the truth is is that Really, it is true in that you can get the service for that price, but you really got to watch it, okay? Freedom Pop uh, is notorious for fine print uh, as far as, uh, you know, trying to do the things where they'll give you some great promo rate, but if you don't cancel by this date, then they'll start charging you for a bunch of different things, uh, as well as... Uh, you know, charging you for literally everything. Uh, they're the only network I'm aware of where you literally have to pay for the privilege of talking on the phone to a customer service rep. Uh, otherwise, for free, the only thing you get is email communication, and realistically, you'll be lucky if you get a response back from them once in a given day. So if you have a back and forth discussion that takes, you know, 10 back and forths, you could easily be looking at, you know, 10 to 12 days. Uh, and of course, once again, you know, weekends are off limits. So realistically, um, would I recommend the service? Well, the first thing I'm going to tell you on that is that uh, I want to preface that by saying that I have been a five-year customer of Freedom Pop. Um, and I'm going to say no, I will not recommend the service at this point, um, and I'll tell you why. When I first got my service, uh, it was back, you know, five years ago, and I originally got a phone that was on the Sprint-based network, and I had to do what they call the BYOD, or bring your own device, and manually configure it, and honestly, it was, it was the biggest pain in the butt to try and get that thing configured right, you know, trying to reset networks, program MSL codes, and things like that. Um, you know, if you're not at least reasonably tech savvy, uh, definitely don't want to do Freedom Pop. Um, it's uh, because there are going to be times where you're going to have to do things that would be considered daunting uh, to somebody who's not technologically inclined. So the among the shortcomings I found is that originally when Freedom Pop was running, they used this sort of weird beta buggy backdoor app um, where the app would kind of find a backdoor through your dialer and then send the service out on a voice over data thing uh, and that's how they were able to keep the cost so low since data is a lot cheaper than voice and just piggyback on Sprint's network. Well, what happens is, is that sometimes, you know, you would dial the phone and then the app would crash. Uh, in addition, sometimes you would have serious network lag and somebody would send you a text and you wouldn't get it for a few hours. Now, these were things that were a little bit annoying, but given the free or low-cost service, I ended up eventually going on and uh, paying for data rollover as well as the uh, voicemail 
And so it came out, I think, with taxes and fees somewhere in the seven to eight dollar a month range. Um, you know, and I I made use of it. Uh, the other thing is, of course, is that the data limit uh, usually once you get down within a hundred megs of the free data limit, they just cut you off or charge you. So uh, so that's something you have to be aware of. You don't actually get as much as they claim that they're going to give you and you're always going to use at least 150 to 200 megabytes of data per month even if you never use your data uh, unless of course you set it in your phone where you're only going off of Wi-Fi unless you manually select the data so uh, you know you can do that but really it's a pain to sit there and go back and forth and be changing it on the time all the time uh, you know, for when you want it, when you don't want it, and that sort of thing. So it's not really practical, in my opinion. Um, so, you know, there were, there were all these quirks and deals. Um, it's easier if you just order a phone straight through Freedom Pop because then it's pre-programmed and it's all set. And so basically all you have to do is a couple of minor programming things and you're up and running. Um, the... The thing I am going to say, though, at this point about Freedom Pop is that, uh, honestly, uh, the way in which they treated their Sprint-based customers was enough to convince me that I this service should not be recommended to anyone. Here's what happened. At the beginning of July of this year, as of the filming of this video, they sent out an announcement saying, hey, look, we're switching away from the, you know, kind of buggy app-based thing, and we're going to try and go with just your phone's native dialer just to make things a little more smooth. Okay, great. That sounds great. So what happened was within a day or two, they sent out a thing saying, hey, you need to reprogram uh, and reset the network on your phone. And so they gave us a code that you would punch in there on that. So I said, okay, so I did that. Uh, and after that happened, I could no longer receive incoming calls or texts. Um, and then within a couple of days, I lost my data connection. So I got on there with Freedom Pop, uh, of course, you know, on their email service for customer service. And they kept giving me the same generic code, same generic information, and then saying, oh, just be patient. And I was like, okay. And then, you know... A week goes by, then two weeks go by, and this whole time, if you tried dialing my phone number, you would get the busy signal. So I couldn't receive any incoming calls, and anyone who tried to get a hold of me would have gotten the busy signal. And then second of all, if somebody tried to send me a text, they would get a rejection message saying, uh, network error, unable to send. So... You know, after two weeks, I was starting to get really frustrated with them going, you know, okay, I understand there are limitations and compromises of these low-cost services and everything else, but, I mean, when you reach the point where you're going two to three weeks without any kind of cellular network service, um, it, it, you know, and I mean, I couldn't even send or receive in, incoming calls via Wi-Fi. That's how bad it was. Uh, and so at some point you have to sit there and go, okay, look, is this really worth it, even though it's a low-cost service or free service, to be without service for that long? Um, and then adding insult to injury, uh, one day I logged into my Freedom of Pop account on my computer, and I get this message that says, your Freedom of Pop account is no longer active, it no longer works, you've been migrated to Ting. I was not notified in any way, shape, or form that my service with Freedom Pop was ending, nor was I notified, nor did I consent or approve that my phone number and my account was going to Ting, which, by the way, is... I don't care for Ting either. Um, so anyways, all of a sudden, I'm, I'm, I emailed Freedom Pop, and I go, what the heck is going on? And then, of course, they give me the standard brush-off email. They said, hey, guess what? You're no longer our problem now. You contact Ting. Uh, you know, and they gave me the standard, thank you for contacting Freedom Pop. You now need to contact Ting. Thank you for your time. Yeah. So, thanks, but no thanks. So, anyways, I went ahead and tried to 
sign up with Ting because it was implied there that I would lose my phone number unless I contacted Ting. So I went ahead and tried to set up things with Ting, at least preliminarily, so I could get a hold of my phone number because I really needed it, and there was an error. Well, come to find out that Freedom Pop did this thing in such a rush that basically Ting wasn't ready for any of this, and it was an absolute mess and total nightmare. And so a number of us ended up getting basically trapped in limbo where our number's frozen somewhere in the transition in, you know, cyberspace between uh, Freedom Pop and Ting. And I sent Ting an email, and they said, oh, well, you need to contact Freedom Pop. And, well, yeah, okay, you know, after they'd already, Freedom Pop had already given me the brush off. And so finally, I, you know, after three weeks, I was just like, this is insane. There is no reason, barring a natural disaster, that I should be without phone service for three weeks because these dingbats can't figure it out. So finally, what ended up happening, I took a gamble. I went and found a company called Tello. And Tello, I submitted the information that I had with my phone number, and they said, hey, just be aware, you know, it could take up to five business days. Even the fact that I've been without three, you know, service for three weeks and these two other idiot companies couldn't help me, I said, okay, fine, I can deal with five business days to let a brand new company try and help me out here. On the beginning of day three, I get an email from Tello that says, hey, your account's ready to go. So I disabled my Freedom Pop apps that were built in my phone. Uh, you know, through the app manager, and went and rebooted my phone, and immediately I was synced right up, and my phone was ready to go, my old phone number worked. So Tello did in three days what Freedom Pop and Ting couldn't do in three weeks, and were it not for Tello, I would probably still not have any phone service to my phone, and still having my number locked up in transition between those two knucklehead networks. Uh, in addition, Ting, you have to really watch because they nickel and dime you for everything. They charge you a set charge for the just for the privilege of having their service on a line. They charge you a certain amount for number of minutes used. They charge you a certain number for number of texts used. They charge you a, an amount for the amount of data that you use. So like the cheapest you come out on one of their regular non-promo rates is about twenty dollars a month uh which given you know what i was paying was ridiculous and given the limited amount i was getting tello on the other hand has two plans they have one that was ten dollars a month unlimited talk and text and one gigabyte of lte data and then unlimited uh throttled data speed after that for ten dollars a month non-promo rate that's just the current rate going for tello uh, the plan I ended up going with was $14 a month, unlimited talk and text, and 2 gigs of LTE data, and then unlimited throttle data after that. And quite honestly, uh, given the experience that I had with Freedom Pop and with Ting, and, the experience, and by contrast, the experience I've had with Tello, uh, Tello has been a, a joy compared to those other two services. Uh, so I would not recommend Freedom Pop. I don't recommend Ting. Uh, and be aware that the new service, Red Pocket, is owned by the same parent corporation as uh, Freedom Pop. So I wouldn't trust them either. So anyways, that's just kind of my review. It's, it's a review of what Freedom Pop is, as well as a s serious warning you really need to watch out for these guys. And uh, they'll, you know, even though they're continuing with an AT&T based network, I still wouldn't trust them because if they decide to, you know, vet, uh, go ahead and get rid of their system or their uh, whatever and decide to dump things or there's a merger or whatever, you're hosed, uh, especially if you have any desire to keep your number. And that's all I've got, and thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.